Let's try short chain solitaire, A47 in the Math Card Games book. You will need 36 green basic cards. The exact ones are listed for you in the Math Card Game book under A47. First, you shuffle the 36 cards and lay them out in fans with four cards each. There are certain first cards that you need to collect in order to start the game. Here are their numbers, 1397-8426. I'm going to have my friend Evan demonstrate. Okay. The only card that you can get, Evan, is the top card. So first you want to get those first starting numbers. So which card do you need first? One. All right. Let's start our chain. One. Next one. Three. Good. Excellent. All right, then you're ready for the second row. Eight. Now, do you have an eight on top? No. So what are you going to do? I'm going to skip that one. Very good. You can skip a row if you need to and come back to it when you're ready. So this is a game of strategy as well as addition. So what's the next card you need? Four. Do you have a four? No. Oh, my. What's the next card? Do you have a two? Yes. Oh, all right. And that two releases his four. Do you see where that four needs to go? Very good. Okay, and our last one is? Six. Six, and that releases his eight. So now he's ready to begin the game. Okay, you add the first two cards together, and the sum will be the answer. So what's one plus eight? Nine. Excellent. Get your nine and put that on. And go to your next row, which is? Seven. Three plus four is seven. Good. So find your seven. All right. This is a solitaire game, so we assume the children know how to add. If they need help, they can always use their abacus. This is a great way for them to practice their math facts. Now we have a tricky situation here, Evan. You've got nine plus two. How much is that? Eleven. Now, are you going to take two ones? No. Why not? There's not going to be room to make your chain. Exactly. So we're going to ignore the 10 and just put the 1. Excellent. And he's thinking where he's going to pick it up so he can release the cards underneath. What's 7 plus 6? 13. All right. So what are you going to put? A 3. Just the 3. Excellent. All right. Now he's gone all the way across and he's ready to do the second one by adding the two cards that are last in each chain. So... 8 plus 9 is? 17. Oh, excellent. What are you going to put seven. there? 7. Good. And 7 plus 4? 7 plus 4 is 11. Excellent. This is one of our favorite games, but it looks like you're stuck there, Evan. What can I do to help? Do you remember what we do when we're stuck? Well, we'll pretend like we can't right now, and if you were totally stuck, then I would take up all the cards and reshuffle them one time and put them down. Instead of fans of four, this time I'm going to use fans of three. And when I've got those fans of three all set, you take the top card and continue playing. All right? Are you ready? Go ahead. You can continue as soon as you see what you need. We know that these games will help your family have many, many years of great fun. And again, remember, there's always something a little more challenging by just looking in the Math Card Games book. As you can notice, this is the end of a short chain solitaire game. Please note that the first and the last card in each chain is exactly the same. That's how you'll check to see if your child has done it successfully. Also, something that's wonderful about these short chain solitaire is if you add the last two, they'll be the first one in the next chain. So two and one is make three, six and three make nine, eight and nine, 17, and four and seven is 11, which brings you back to the chain. So you can visualize a circle or a chain connecting all. Sometimes the children like to actually manipulate the cards and make their chain. Long chain solitaire, game A49, is just like short chain solitaire, except we use 60 basic cards. And the first cards we need to collect are 
2486-3179. We still fan out the cards in piles of four, but now we have 15 piles instead of just nine. 